where do you rest your flock at noon? And that sometimes in our spiritual life, we go through periods of just resting, just resting with the Lord. You know, he tells us, or the saints and <clears throat> scripture scholars and theologians, all we, we know that he speaks to us in the silence, that when heart speaks to heart, no words are needed. And so there are times when it's just simply our hearts communicating with one another. And so no, no words are needed at all. And there's just can be this peaceful resting. And if you think about the idea of where do you rest at noon? So noon was the hottest period of the day, right? And so this is when the shepherds would find shade for themselves and their sheep and to lay down and rest. And so maybe the Lord's just been calling you this week into this time of just being confident that he's there with you, that his presence is there. And he wants you just to rest in his heart right now, just to be still and quiet. Psalm 23 comes to mind that he just wants to restore your soul. And it's not because of your wounds that he's hiding. He's not hiding. It's just you're in this. If you think about spouses, right? Like I, I know being when I was married and, and with nine children and even still with nine children and Jesus is my spouse. There are times when like, I just want to rest with him. Like it's finally quiet here and my brain can't even think to have a conversation, right? And I just want to sit there with my hot cup of tea and just be like, Jesus, I know we're here together. Let's just be here. And, and that happens. That happens in marriage too. I mean, that happens even in friendships, right? There's times when it's just to be together is enough. And so maybe he's teaching you that he can feed your heart give you pasture and rest just in silence, just in quiet, in resting. And he knows what a priceless treasure silence is. Mm -hmm. And he's happy just to be silent with us, just to be together. And so it's okay, those times of silence. He hasn't gone anywhere. It just has been so comforting to me to think that when my heart speaks to his heart, no, no words are needed. 